What is Expressionism in Art? Expressionism, Arts Expressionism is a modernist movement, initially in poetry and painting, originating in Germany at the beginning of the 20th century. Its typical trait is to present the world solely from a subjective perspective, distorting it radically for emotional effect in order to evoke moods or ideas. Expressionist artists have sought to express the meaning of emotional experience rather than physical reality. Expressionism developed as an avant-garde style before the First World War. It remained popular during the Weimar Republic, particularly in Berlin. The style extended to a wide range of the arts, including expressionist architecture, painting, literature, theatre, dance, film, and music. The term is sometimes suggestive of angst. In a historical sense, much older painters such as Matthias Grunewald and El Greco are sometimes termed expressionist, though the term is applied mainly to 20th century works. The expressionist emphasis on individual and subjective perspective has been characterized as a reaction to positivism and other artistic styles such as naturalism and impressionism. Edvard Munch, The Scream, 1893, Oil, Tempera and Pastel on Cardboard, 91x73 cm, National Gallery of Norway inspired 20th century expressionists the scream is the popular name given to a composition created by norwegian expressionist artist edvard munch in 1893 the original german title given by munch to his work was der schrader natur the scream of nature and the norwegian title is skrik shriek the agonized face in the painting has become one of the most iconic images of art, seen as symbolizing the anxiety of the human condition. Origin of the term Expressionism While the word expressionist was used in the modern sense as early as 1850, its origin is sometimes traced to paintings exhibited in 1901 in Paris by obscure artist Julien Auguste Hervé which he called Expressionisms. An alternative view is that the term was coined by the Czech art historian Antonin Mazek in 1910 as the opposite of Impressionism, an Expressionist wishes, above all, to express himself. An Expressionist rejects, immediate perception and builds on more complex psychic structures. Impressions and mental images that pass through, people's soul as through a filter which rids them of all substantial accretions to produce their clear essence, and are assimilated and condense into more general forms, into types, which he transcribes through simple shorthand formulae and symbols. Important precursors of Expressionism were the German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche, 1844-1900, especially his philosophical novel Thus Spoke Zarathustra, 1883-1892, the later plays of the Swedish dramatist August Strindberg, 1849-1912, including the trilogy to Damascus 1898-1901, A Dream Play, 1902, The Ghost Sonata, 1907, Frank Wedekind, 1864-1918, especially the Lulu plays Erdgeist, Earth Spirit, 1895, and Die Buxter Pandora, Pandora's Box, 1904, the American poet Walt Whitman's, 1819-1892, Leaves of Grass, 1855-1891, the Russian novelist Fyodor Dostoevsky, 1821-1881, Norwegian painter Edvard Munch, 1863-1944, Dutch painter Vincent van Gogh, 1853-1890, Belgian painter James Ensor, 1869-1949,
and pioneering Austrian psychoanalyst Sigmund Freud, 1856-1939. In 1905, a group of four German artists, led by Ernst Ludwig Kirchner, formed Die Brück, the bridge, in the city of Dresden. This was arguably the founding organization for the German Expressionist movement, though they did not use the word itself. A few years later, in 1911, a like-minded group of young artists formed Der Blaue Reiter, the Blue Reiter, in Munich. The name came from Vasily Kandinsky's Der Blaue Reiter painting of 1903. Among their members were Kandinsky, Franz Marc, Paul Klee, and Augusta Macca. However, the term Expressionism did not firmly establish itself until 1913. Though mainly a German artistic movement initially and most predominant in painting, poetry, and the theatre between 1910 and 1930, most precursors of the movement were not German. Furthermore, there have been expressionist writers of prose fiction, as well as non-German-speaking expressionist writers, and, while the movement had declined in Germany with the rise of Adolf Hitler in the 1930s, there were subsequent expressionist works. Expressionism is notoriously difficult to define, in part because it overlapped with other major isms of the modernist period, with Futurism, Vorticism, Cubism, Surrealism, and Dadaism. Richard Murphy also comments, the search for an all-inclusive definition is problematic to the extent that the most challenging expressionists such as Kafka, Gottfried Benn, and Doblin were simultaneously the most vociferous anti-expressionists. What can be said, however, is that it was a movement that developed in the early 20th century, mainly in Germany, in reaction to the dehumanizing effect of industrialization and the growth of cities and that one of the central means by which Expressionism identifies itself as an avant-garde movement, and by which it marks its distance to traditions and the cultural institution as a whole is through its relationship to realism and the dominant conventions of representation. More explicitly, that the Expressionists rejected the ideology of realism. The term refers to an artistic style in which the artist seeks to depict not objective reality but rather the subjective emotions and responses that objects and events arouse within a person. It is arguable that all artists are expressive but there are many examples of art production in Europe from the 15th century onward which emphasize extreme emotion. Such art often occurs during times of social upheaval and war such as the Protestant Reformation, German Peasants' War, and Eighty Years' War between the Spanish and the Netherlands, when extreme violence, much directed at civilians, was represented in propagandist popular prints. These were often unimpressive aesthetically but had the capacity to arouse extreme emotions in the viewer. Expressionism has been likened to Baroque by critics such as art historian Michel Ragan and German philosopher Walter Benjamin. According to Alberto Arbasino, a difference between the two is that Expressionism doesn't shun the violently unpleasant effect, while Baroque does. Expressionism throws some terrific fuck yous, Baroque doesn't. Baroque is well-mannered. Thanks for watching. If you like please don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Amigos de Rollo Patterson